Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be combining some of my thoughts and footage as a novice storm chaser as I look to hone my craft in hopes of becoming a professional storm chaser and being able to safely bring you footage of large and destructive tornadoes one day. With that out of the way, let's get started. On this particular day, I woke up around 3.30 in my hometown of Mexico, Missouri, to see the thunderstorms were already ongoing across the area. Most of the good stuff had already headed down to the St. Louis metro area, and I decided that this storm in central Boone County moving into Callaway County was my only chance to get some footage for the day. And so I headed out about 4 o'clock down Highway 54 in hopes of catching the storm as it moved into Fulton. All right, we have made it to Fulton, Missouri. This storm is currently under a severe thunderstorm warning and we are looking at a wall cloud. On the base of this storm, we got hail beating off the car that we just drove through. I didn't get a good look at it going down the highway. I wanted to hurry up and get here, but so far it looks like about dime-sized hail at best. But we have our local storm. We're going to keep an eye on it and see what it uh, does. Almost immediately after recording the first video, the rain and hail started and I got back into my car so that I could safely record the next video as the hail core, unbeknownst to me, was passing about a mile and a half to my north, though it was hard to tell from my point of view. In case you've ever wondered what it sounds like inside of a hailstorm, here in Fulton, Missouri, we are getting pelted with golf ball sized tail. I ain't getting out of the car to record this, so this is going to have to do. Okay, folks, here we are, Fulton, Missouri. Severe thunderstorm warning. The mesocyclone just went right overhead. We have been getting pelted with up to golf ball sized tail. We're gonna ride this one out from inside the car. We still got all the windows, so good enough. video of the ground after the hailstorms moved through. Quite a few large chunks. A lot of them just split in half like this one. See this one's really well formed. clear it's over there let's we'll see what we can get as the storm moved off to the east I watched these scans of radar and that coupled with some of the images I'd seen from other storm chasers in the st. Louis area with traffic being backed up on I-70 I decided that chasing a hailstorm down I-70 probably wasn't in my best interest and so I decided that after just a single intercept I was gonna head home for the evening so what did I learn from this fun little training exercise? Well, overall it went pretty well. In terms of hail, I could have stopped about an exit sooner and had probably larger hail than what I saw. At my location it was roughly ping pong ball sized hail despite my at the time claims of golf ball sized hail. However, the entire area was under a tornado watch. And if that storm had decided to put down a large tornado, I was in a bad spot. Due to my slow response, I wouldn't have made it far enough south to be in the clear. And so had that storm gone tornadic, I likely would have stayed at Kingdom City and gone on down 70 in hopes of getting a tornado. But I played the hand I was dealt, had a good time with my son. And only spent about an hour away from the house before I was back home in time for dinner. Not a career defining chase by any means, but there's always the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. 
And if you want to follow along my adventures as I try to capture the big one, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next storm.